Hi guys, I just wanted to show you, I recently found an ARF, almost ready to fly, a Mini 250 quad package for 85 US dollars. And I just wanted to show you guys this. I actually just went ahead and ordered it from this seller here, ready to sky. And if you just search on AliExpress for Mini 250 and then CC3D, I'm pretty sure that this will come up at the top of the list. Now, this is pretty amazing. It's $84.99 with free shipping to where I am. And look at what you get. Basically, you get a 250 mini quad, full carbon fiber, clean section and a dirty section, all the aluminium spaces, nuts, bolts, everything that you need. Then you get a CC3D flight controller, four motors, I'm not sure on the quality of these, but you know, I wouldn't expect amazing stuff for 85 bucks, but still, it's enough to get you in the air. The specs on the motors are 1804, 2400 kV. And then also you get four of these Hobby Sky 20 amp ESCs with a built in two amp back and you get two full sets, eight pieces of 50-30 props and some lead decoration boards. So here's the ESCs, here's the frame. It looks like one of those standard China ZMR 250s, although I'm pretty sure there's a few factories pumping these out now and the quality can vary. But I can tell you that I've already ordered this and it's been delivered and the quality of this is not bad at all. 485 bucks. Here we have the motors. Here we have the flight controller, the props, some of the lead components, and there's the whole kit. And you can see here they'll deliver all around the world. And actually the delivery time for me, they delivered it from China to Dubai in six days, which is absolutely amazing. And you can see it's 95% good feedback five star feedback out of 25 votes and 51 orders. So, uh, you know, there's a couple of people who've given it one star, but uh, you always get that. But if you just generally have a look, the reviews are very good and my review is quite good. So let's go with me over to the bench. Okay guys, so let's have a look here at what you get in the box for 85 US dollars. But this is the first time I've seen it as well. So we're seeing this together. So it looks like we've got uh, a couple of green props, a couple of black props, two full sets of props in total. And then here we've got uh, some kind of power supply board with some switches on. Interesting. Um, some LEDs, believe it or not. Two LEDs. Some motors. What do we got here? I'm sure the quality is not going to be amazing. It's a ZMR 1804 2400 kV motor four of those in the package and then we've got a uh, a battery xt connector and some nylon nuts and screws then we have a uh, hobby sky esc with simon k 20 amp with a two amp beck on board we have four of those Next we have a CC3D flight controller with uh, all the cables. <laughs> they even threw in some, uh, some cable ties. And so I can see some bits of heat shrink there. Yep, two bits of heat shrink. That was nice of them. And then uh, we have the frame. Now let's just push this out of the way and have a look at the frame. So, I wouldn't say the quality of the carbon is that bad, like the cuts all look quite clean. 
be interesting to see if it actually is carbon. There is one way we can test. We can actually test uh, we can test to see if we're getting any uh, resistance on this frame. Which we are, so it is actually carbon. We've got uh, 26 ohms there with the probes about a centimeter apart. So, yep, it is carbon. So we have a couple of frame pieces, some legs, three mil legs. Yeah, they feel okay. We can see our uh, known problem areas there on the legs. But you know, for 85 bucks, got our uh, camera mount and our little legs. And then inside, we've got uh, some round standoffs with yeah, some long screws and some rubber mounts. So really, I mean, <laughs> if you're looking to build your, your first quad, like for 85 US dollars plus shipping, admittedly, but how can you go wrong? This is a great way to get into the hobby. Great way to learn how to build, great way to get into the hobby. The only thing that I don't like about this is that, you know, basically the factory that's pumping these out, all of these parts here are just copying somebody else's design and your money is not really going towards pushing the hobby any further. These guys are not doing any research and development. They're just copying designs and pumping it out as cheaply as possible. I think if you can afford it and if you're seriously into the hobby that you shouldn't be buying copied frames and that you should be buying from the guys that are innovating and coming up with new designs and building quality gear because that's where all these designs come from and if those guys don't make any money then uh, who is going to be designing the next generation of gear that we're going to be using so yeah I mean for a beginner for an entry level into the hobby I think it's fine uh, and really for 85 bucks is there a greater way to get into the hobby I mean obviously you still have to buy a receiver and a transmitter and a LiPo and a LiPo charger. But apart from that, you've got everything you need. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually do a series and, and build this one on camera. And I'm going to learn and hopefully you guys can learn with me. And then we'll see what the quality of this thing is like using all the parts that it came with and see how it flies. To me, I think this is going to be uh, an interesting little experiment slash project. Okay, guys, so stay tuned, subscribe, and uh, expect to see more on this one. Cheers. Bye.